October 22, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and eight months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 606 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. Ukraine appears to have established another minor foothold on the eastern bank of the Dnieper. The Kremlin has lost record numbers of men and equipment since our last report. Ukraine has repelled over 60 attacks in the last 24 hours. Dnieper Line Deep State Project has mapped expanded contested land at the rail bridge North Kherson. Kremlin mouthpieces continue to claim that Ukraine has liberated more islands between the Konka and the Dnieper. Ukraine's reports on the area have been minimal, with Ukrainian bloggers releasing exciting but non-verifiable claims. Zaporizhia Front The most immediately impacting news released from this front is that the Kremlin's 291st Guards Rifle Regiment moved back to the contact line. This unit had moved to a reserve, or near support, location, west of Novopropivka, in late August, after being the primary force holding the road to Robotyne, from the start of Ukraine's counteroffensive, in June. At the Morky Yoli the Kremlin stole land north of Pryutny on the west, while Ukraine liberated some lands on the east. East Front, Donetsk. Attacks at Volheda and Marienka were repulsed by Ukraine. Around Avdiivka the Kremlin continues to attempt attacks started back on the 9th of October. Thirteen days into their attack, and very minimal gains have been shown in the south and north. These attacks have come, as noted, at great expense to the Kremlin's army. In one day it was reported that the Kremlin lost 55 tanks, over 100 infantry vehicles, and dozens of artillery pieces and vehicles. Ukraine has not been without losses, and in a moment of seriousness in our levity, please pray for Ukrainian defenders. Benjamin Franklin once said, the longer I live, the more convincing proofs I see of this truth, that God governs in the affairs of men. Bakhmut area. At Andreevka and Klishchivka Ukraine has expanded into the valley below the rail. The Kremlin has made a large number of weak attacks across this front, but continues to be repulsed. At one time I might have called these blocking attacks, but I think it's more realistic that the Kremlin's army only knows one type of attack. Oskil border front. The movement of the 21st Rifle Brigade from the hills west of Svato to the area north of Avdiivka may signal that the Kremlin has ended any discussion of pushing to the Oskil this year. In the forests north of the Donets River the Kremlin appears to be making some focused attacks. This area is where the recently liberated Azov fighters again took up the liberation efforts. So far it seems their liberation of the area against a numerically larger force has been minimal, while the defense has been highly effective. Ukraine has again noted minor advances by Kremlin troops east of Kupiansk. Northern border. Shelling across the border has continued. The Kremlin often targets randomly with inaccurate missiles and for civilian structures with artillery. The Free Russian Legion has started to shell Kremlin positions. Black Sea. Reports of missile attacks on Sevastopol continue almost daily, with new reports today. No video footage from the scene was released. Ukraine World Related. The British have are returning the first graduated cadre of civilian engineers, trained in a new two-week course developed by the UK's armed forces in wartime care of critical civilian infrastructure, such as gas and electrical lines. Spain will be sending six more Hawk anti-air systems. According to the Euromaidan press, via a poll of 30,000 people across the globe, 70% of the Earth supports helping Ukraine. For those familiar, or not, with statistics, that's a 99% confidence level, with approximately 0.8% margin of error. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.